Hello, everyone. How's it going? Hope everyone's doing all right. I think I'm finally going to play Wuthering Waves today. Yesterday I had the wrong time, so I didn't get to play. Let's see. It'll be him. It'll be the sugar. You know what? Let's add that. The sugar. Oh. The corka. Oh, it's too long. Too bad. That's a shame. We'll be the sugar. I'm excited to play this. Been looking forward to it for a long time. <laughs> Outer space, nice. Quite the snow dog. And for a second I thought that looked like bow. Must be some higher dimensional being. We got a golden mark on our hand. The water we go. Why is everything upside down? for junior patrollers. Lesson one, CPR. Ugh. No need for that. I've uh, already woken up. Never did it on any living person, though. <laughs> Chisia. Sorry, sorry. You just woke up and here I am chatting up a storm. <sighs> Fine. Are you all right? Do you feel any discomfort? And they even... This looks just like, um... Honkai Star Rail in Genshin. They did a... Good job. You can call me Trisha. And she's Yang Yang. <laughs> okay. Where am I? We are in the Gorgeous Spirits. It's on the outskirts of Jinzhou, Huanglong. Hmm. Your attire doesn't seem local. Are you a roving traveler from afar, or someone returning home? That's a good question. What is rover supposed to mean? So, you don't know why you're here, where you're from, or who you are. Yeah, that seems like the trick with these games. By 
Alicia didn't tell us you'd have these after effects when you wake up. Well, do you know me? If not, I don't know why you'd think that. The wind has brought us a warning. The Atheric Sea is converging. It seems a new tacit field is taking shape. What do you mean? That means it's probably gonna get dangerous here soon. Well, then I guess we better get on the move. Ugh, I knew it! Our gourds are out of service because of the Etheric Sea's influence. We can't send or receive messages for help now. We better hurry over to meet up with Baijiu at our gathering spot and get out of here. Hmm. So they have gourds for that, huh? Guess you really can't recall a thing, but don't worry. If you got any questions, we can talk as we move. Yang Yang and I will give you the full scoop every little detail from the get-go. I appreciate you both. Rover, uh, can we call you that for now? Before you remember your true name? Oh, when I said Rover, was that what it... Oh... I don't like these answers. You can call me that for now. We shouldn't stay here. If you don't have other plans, how about leaving with us for now? I suppose I could. Oh, that's great! Let's go together! Wait a second, do I have a gourd on my back? Where did I get that from if I didn't know about it? Wow, look at this. Oh boy. Rover, I know you can't remember a thing. What kind of leg spike was that? No, 100% sure about you. You must be a resonator too. What is happening? You've got a tacit mark on the back of your hand, and you have a gourd. This is proof you're a resonator. Your gourd's design looks a bit different from the ones we use, though. Also, we have resonators who can detect the like formation that? of tacit fields nearby, like what Yang Yang just did. She can tell all kinds of information by reading the streams in the wind. That's her resonance ability. While I can... Is, he, is there a way to... Settings down or something? Because... We'll make it medium. Whoops. Didn't mean to do that. Maybe that'll help. It seemed like um, the game wasn't running very smooth. Boy, what's this? I don't want that actually. Okay. Well, hopefully I don't have leg spikes like that anymore. It may seem all nice and quiet here now, but you never know when a tacit discord might pop up out of nowhere. Oh my! Speak of the devil! Hmm. Interesting. Why do I keep getting these leg spikes? What is happening? Despite having forgotten everything? Wow. Watch me lead the charge next time. No one messes with my show f uh. That's a big dragon. Oh, wow.
What's wrong? Are you injured from the fight? No. What is the statue? This is the statue of Jue, the sentinel in Zhenzhou, in the shape of a long. Hmm. There is one capital and six cities in Huanglong, with each city having its own sentinel. While they share some similarities in appearance, there are also differences. I see. Uh, are there other sentinels outside Huanglong? Sentinels are present where civilizations thrive. Huanglong stands out with the highest number of currently coexisting sentinels because of its long history and vast land. Records state the sentinels in Huanglong were once a single entity. Now they are each responsible for a part of Huanglong. Naturally, there are sentinels in other regions too, but fewer compared to Huanglong. See. Do the other sentinels look like? In Huanglong, most of the sentinels take the shape of a long. In other regions, they manifest in various forms. Hmm. Saw myself standing face to face with it. You were standing face to face with our sentinel? One can hardly see our sentinel with their own eyes. Most people only get the chance during the appointment ceremonies. According to your description, he stood pretty close. Only the sentinel's appointed resonator is allowed in its proximity. For now, that person is the magistrate of Zhenzhou. Oh, I didn't read what that Whoa, said. Oh, darn! That must be an elite class! Chizia might be in danger. Rover, please. Okay. I missed out on what happened because I pressed a button too fast, but okay. Oh boy. No hesitation. Okay. Oh, why is it lag spiking? Ow. Speeding up. Swift and resolute. Interesting. Strike from the shadows. The hour is upon us. Oops. Why is this game lagging? I don't understand. Past. Let me try and see if um is there something in the background? Or... No, there shouldn't be. Yeah, a lot of items. Huh. I don't know why this game is doing that. It is natural to feel dreadful of Maybe if I change some stuff. Maybe windowed mode will help, I don't know. Not the medium. I don't know what half the stuff does. Maybe 
Maybe it's the super resolution? I don't know. I don't know why it's doing that. Shouldn't be any problems. My computer should be able to handle this just fine. Maybe there's just some bugs, I don't know. Remnants of the past. Oh, we got. Harness six. The specimen is named Morestone, characterized by its fine structure, high hardness, and strong compressive strength. It exhibits excellent chemical stability and extreme temperature variations. Meyer stones are widely distributed in the gorges, the gorges of spirits, forming large-scale deposits that facil facilitate easy mining. Sizable blocks can be mined. All these factors make Meyer stones excellent construction materials suitable for large-scale sculptures, exterior walls of buildings, and hard paving. Note. Is used in the construction of the Jizo and the creation of the Sentinel sculpture. Okay. Good to know, I guess. Oh, wow. Interesting. It actually does just like run up it, huh? My bird eggs now. Why it's doing that? This game has been nothing but a pain in the butt to try to get the work to work for stream. You fought so well. I didn't even get a chance to help, and Yang Yang just rushed over to protect you like a mu <clears throat> Anyway, Yang Yang was trying to shield you, and then BAM! The Tessa Discord was taken care of before I could get a good look. She's <clears throat> yeah. Oh, by the way, speaking of Baija, we're almost there. The place where we said we'd meet with Baija. She's the resonator I've been talking about. Baija can heal with her resonance ability, and we found you together at the bottom of the gorge. Baija did some first aid for you. You seemed to have drowned, but your airway was clear. Your clothes were dry and clean, too. Oh, and of course, it was Yang Yang who investigated your clothes and mouth by feeling it through the streams. She kept blushing and apologizing to you as she did while you were out cold. Chisya. Mm. Interesting. So can I equip a weapon? Iro sword. Slightly more damage. Ooh, is this a steel tree? I think so. It's supposed to be like the ascension or something. Stopping to relax once in a while. Serves for a stronger resonance with the world. This yeah. is a testament to my connection with the yeah, world around voice. me. And it's very much my companion now. Bearing witness to everything I've experienced on this journey. It is natural to feel dreadful of the unknown. Yet, there are times when the unknown harbors hope. Like how I can never know what else this power has to offer. We still have a long journey ahead of us. Let's press on. Will there be new discoveries? I will be there for everyone as we head toward our shared future, leaving the past behind. Interesting. If I can level up. Level 10. 
Actually, I wonder if I can level up the other person too. Oh wait, I just used all the materials, I'm dumb. Okay. I don't think there's anything up there. It seems like the game's running fine for the moment. I don't know why it was having problems earlier. See? There's a resonance beacon over there! When you see a beacon, be sure to register and activate it. It's usually safe within a five meter radius of a beacon. It can protect you from danger sometimes. Rover, could you hand me your terminal for a moment? <sighs> Done. Its design and system version are different from ours. But your terminal still has the data transfer and other basic functions. Hmm. Oh, I activated it. This is where I can grab some of the materials for things as I go along. We are almost at the gorgeous entrance. There will be a descent. But if your terminal's glider module still works... What are you talking about? Once you're out of the gorge, there's only a short walk to reach Jinjo. That doesn't look like a short walk. Jinjo is the safest place around here. The Resonance Nexus provides coverage for the whole city. Besides, we've got a protective barrier and strong fortifications. Sounds impressive. <laughs> right? Jinjo sits between the Deseret Highland and the Norfolk Barrens. It's a border city and a fortress. It's very crucial to the safety of Huanglong. Huh? We've agreed to meet up with Baijiu here. Where is she? Good question. I don't know who that is. Maybe we need to help them. This is the center of the Atheric Sea. A tacit field? Uh-oh. When did it show up? It wasn't here when we just got here. I think your friend might be down there. But I didn't sense a hint of a tacit field's presence. So it appeared while we weren't looking? Like, in the blink of an eye? Or maybe the etheric sea can tell where we are. Could it be following us? The center of the tacit field. Someone is there. Isn't that Baija? Baija! Baija! We're too far away. Perhaps she can't hear us. Uh, isn't the tacit field dangerous? Freshly formed tacit fields of a dormant period. During this time, it is relatively safe. You mean it's safe for now? My apologies. I should have said it is temporarily safe. The dormant period of a tacit field varies based on its formation time. Generally, the shorter the formation time, the longer the dormant period. However, with a longer dormant period, the tacit discords born within are usually stronger. Hmm. The faster a tacit field forms, the longer its dormant period lasts. For now, this tacit field should be safe. Um, hopefully we won't bump into tacit discords as soon as we get there. According to the hero plays, yes, there's a chance for that. What about your friend? Let's go down there right. then. The glider can't carry us beyond the tacit field's range. Besides, 
Baijia is there. We'll have to go down and see what is going on. Now it's time to use a glider module. Rover, let me help you activate it. Okay. How? Oh. Where do you look at that? it feel right <sighs> why did you come here by yourself something's gonna be wrong with their friend uh, yeah you know we uh? <sighs> you are all right it seems yeah he was super energetic a super big TD, way more spirited than me. I've been keeping an eye on his condition through the street. Okay. Was that monster thing? Is this a mind reading gathering? It isn't. Baija is just concerned about your condition. She must think we shouldn't be letting you move around that much, since you've just regained consciousness. Hmm. Um. I'm alright. This isn't the place we're talking. Let's go. She must be the serious one. Uh oh. What's happening to them? Well, hello there. That was quite rude of you. I can walk menacingly too. Bring it on. If I knew how to emote, I would. I can lock onto him, nice. That's what I was wondering. No hesitation. More than all well, right. And that strange tacit discord is here too. It's the tacit discord's ability. Storm, here now. Be careful. Zephyrin. Swift and resolute. The end has come. I see your weakness. I like this combat. Got him halfway down. Ooh, wasn't expecting that. Got a weapon. Strike from the shadows. Ooh. Okay. Yeah, that counter attack thing is weird. Lift 
resolute. Moment of resonance. And this game makes you feel like a badass. I see your weakness. Your feet be your blade. Let the winds roar. Could have been better, but it could have been worse. Rover! Are you alright? Are you hurt? Oh, thank goodness! We could see that darn barrier, but couldn't lay a finger on it. I'm fine too. I've never seen such a formidable tacit discord before, but Rover was able to completely defeat it. We beat it together. I didn't really do much. It was all thanks to you, Rover. That's strange. This place isn't known to be so dangerous. Anyway, come check this out! <laughs> I wouldn't get too close if I were you. And this is? Oh, this is an... Echo. Wow. An echo of the elite class. Someone got lucky today. Why is that? My apologies. We got a little carried away. Does reverberation or echo ring a bell to you, Rover? No. Everything in our world is made up of frequencies, and every sound generates a reverberation. Okay. Those echoes are the lingering reverberations of tacit discords after they disintegrate. We can absorb them into the data banks in our Pangu terminals. Oh, by Pangu terminal, she means the gourd shaped device every resonator has, developed by researchers in Huanglong. So, should I use it? But you see, it's not always we get to find these. Also, there's a limit to what your gourd can absorb. Absorption is only possible when your data bank's level is equal to or higher than the tacit discord's level. The terminal can then convert its reverberation into an echo for use in battle. Interesting. My terminal issued a warning when I detected that tacit discord earlier. It should at least be an Overlord class. Rover, would you mind checking your data bank level? I don't know no how. No for that. Rover, why don't you just try absorbing it with your terminal? Alright. Oh, so it doesn't work. Hmm. It says I'm at level zero. No worries. You can start with smaller ones before tackling this guy here. There should be some sweet baby roche rooms around here. Let's go check those out, shall we? Okay. <sighs> we'll need to report the unusual phenomena here to the city hall and the academy. Let's make our exit. Sounds good. I like your flower tattoos. What? Oh boy. What is that? Well, that what? was something. What kind of power is that? Rover, you... You've been playing the fool all along? No, I don't know what's going on. I've never seen a resonance ability quite like this. You got any other tricks up your sleeve? Like eating a whole tacit discord? Grilling echoes alive? Um... Uh, I have no idea what happened. Could it be related to your lost memories? 
Can you recall anything now? I got glimpses. Rover, something else. are you feeling all right? Any discomfort? Could it be the side effect of fighting that tacit discord? Baiji, can we take Rover to do a checkup at Huashu Academy's Resonance Medical Department? I do need a checkup. Hmm. Baiji? Absorbing echoes with the human body is not entirely unprecedented. With the human body? I remember Comprehensive Mirror for Historians mentioned this in the Huanglong section's opening. A celestial being descended, commanding the Tiangun's boundless power. Assuming mortal form, they condensed the primordial essence, creating Pangu. Cleaving heaven and earth apart, they aligned the celestial and terrestrial. Their radiance encompassed the four corners, Thus began the illustrious annals of Huanglong, as provinces were first demarcated. What does that mean? There was a very strong person way back, like they held the whole universe right in their hands. As there was no terminal in those days, they absorbed the tacit discords with their bare hands. And the TD they absorbed was the most powerful of all. That person turned it into the first echo ever. Huh. Then they used the power of that echo to rebuild the world, sort out the laws, and that's how the history of Huang Long began. Kixia, mm -hmm. you must know a lot about history. Actually, I'm not. I hope I was, though. Those were just some old tales my parents used to tell me, kind of like the Sentinel's appointment thing. Yang Yang's got an impressive memory for the ancient texts. Me? Oh. I just happen to roughly remember what the story's about. Hmm. Whether it's true or not, that story happened a long time ago, when Jinjo didn't even exist. Could it be that Rover's like the great, 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 great granddaddy of us all? I don't appreciate that. Let's <laughs> not jump to conclusions without enough data and proper analysis. Rover. All right. I wonder when they're going to use the name I actually picked. Wait, the signal's back. Hmm. This is a holographic message to all of Genjo from the City Hall. My fellow soldiers and citizens, I apologize for any inconvenience caused. I am Jin Shi, the Magistrate of Jinjo. As the Moon Chasing Festival approaches, our city welcomes visitors from around the world. The festivities are highly anticipated by our people, and I too share in this joyful sentiment. This is a cool message. Jingzhou has always been a crucial defense against the tacit discord outbreaks, safeguarding Huang Long. We have a heavy responsibility on our shoulders with no room for retreat or failure. It is the dedication of our warriors, along with the diligence of our citizens, that has allowed us to thrive in peace and prosperity. Despite the challenges of tacit discords, we remain steadfast and hospitable to visitors, upholding our enduring traditions. With that in mind, I have a favor to ask. Among our many visitors, there is one visitor that holds utmost importance to me, the city of Jinzhou, and the entirety of Huanglong. We have awaited your arrival for a long time. So is she literally talking to us or is this pre-recorded? Given the circumstances, you may be feeling bewildered at this time. You should have noticed some strange happenings related to you. If you plan to stay in Jinjo for some time, I would be more than delighted to personally meet you 
in the city hall of Jinjo. While I cannot guarantee to provide all the answers you need, I will do my best to assist you and provide necessary permissions, if applicable. This is only my personal request. You can decide your course of action in any way you see fit. Therefore, I request the people and soldiers of Jinjo to assist this esteemed visitor when the opportunity arises. Hmm. Be interesting to see if it's pre-recorded or not. Why do I get this feeling? This person our magistrate was talking about has rover. Mm. Still too early to tell. Now you're talking a little like Baijer Rover. Hey, that ain't the point, okay? What are your plans now, Rover? I don't have any plans yet. I remember you had a flashback of yourself looking into its eyes when you saw the statue of our sentinel. We can't confirm its authenticity, but based on the magistrate's message, it seems Chen Zhou has a lot to do with your past. Whether you were the visitor our magistrate mentioned or not, you are surely important to Chen Zhou, and you will be our important... Friend! We've already entrusted our lives to each other. I've never seen so many TDs packed together. And that elite one was so scary. Well, you did get rid of most of them. <laughs> anyway, once we're back in Jinjo, I'll treat you that famous specialty from Pan Hua's restaurant. All right, I'll hold you to it. I don't have anywhere else to go anyway. Okay. It would be best for your well-being to have a thorough physical examination once we arrive in Jinjo. While there don't seem to be any immediate side effects following the absorption of that echo, we cannot rule out the possibility of other latent risks. Given our lack of data on you and your unusual physical signs, I suggest absorb- I'm gonna get you when you can absorb! I never go back on my promise! Your hero Chisha's on the hunt! This game isn't running very well. I don't know why. Out. Bad timing. Can you reenact what you did before? I don't have the feeling of being pushed like I did before. Hmm. Maybe you can only absorb the powerful ones with your body. Or does it have to be a certain type of tacit discord? Good question. Or maybe... Maybe we should give your terminal a whirl. Yeah, let's try. Yay! It worked! I've never seen a gore... Okay. Whip an echo to unlock a new skill. Hmm. Resonators can use the echo skill of the echo equipped at the time. Change forward. Huh. Hmm. Your terminal's got a different look, but the functions are pretty much the same. I can use it with this. Sounds. I see. Let's try this again. It's got to cool down. This monster is about to get it. One with the sounds. And 
I do not appreciate all the lag. Oh, there's a lot now. One with the sounds. Oh. <laughs> No hesitation. Let me be your blame. Tempest! Can't hardly see you when they're all in the bush. Swift and resolute. Why is this happening? I sense your weakness. One with the sounds. Disperse. Okay. Why is that happening? Interesting. I think it wants me to take care of these ones. One with the sounds. Easy. this an unexpected discovery hmm. and I really hope this game gets ported to the ps5 but by the time they get it on there it'll run a lot better and that way I can get trophies too one with the sounds Your weakness. Let me be your brain. Swift and resolute. The end has come. I like the combos. Feels good. Let me. What is this? Like a pokey text for all the echoes. Uh. Cool, my stamina went up. So, get trophies. Uh, 
extra tutorial stuff I have. What is it telling me to do? Lock new echo to gain data XP. Okay. I don't know why that one's lit up like that. What's with these butterflies? Why is it lag? Why does it do this? One with the sounds. I sense your weakness. Closer to where we're going. Is this stone and cat skip? That cracked wall over there. I'm getting more echoes. Attack! Raw meat. Wonder. Okay. So each echo I got was about 10 echo XP. Yes, there was someone watching. Indeed, there was. <laughs> there you are. My dearest. Seed of fate. I don't know how you know me. Alrighty, what should we do next? Shall we go grab a bite? Um, uh, get my body checkup. I am to return to the Academy. The anomalies of the Gorges of Spirits, the resurgence of that tacit field, and the many wave-worn phenomena occurrences. I should report them in time. Then I'll go submit our report, and prepare the documentation needed for Rover's audience with the Magistrate while I'm there. Um, uh, sounds like a lot of work. It may take some time, but there won't be too much paperwork. Then I guess I'll take Rover over to the Nexus Tower for registration first. And we'll just hang out for a while. What about the checkup? Being new to Jinjo and all, he can't be left standing outside the city hall with nothing to do. Hospitality is our local specialty, you know. Then I'll leave you in Shizia's care, Rover. Is that all right with you? I'll give you a call once the paperwork is done. All right. Leave it to me. I'll send the branch of Resin Medical Science a notice. 
We need to conduct a thorough physical examination on you to make sure you are fine. Come visit the Academy after your audience if you have no other plans. Person. You guys done yet? What's the hold up? Let's move! Then I'll have more time to show Rover around. We've got loads of fun in Jinjo. We can go watch lion dances, hero plays, stand-up shows, and then maybe the martial championships. Plus tons of different treats to try out. You think it, we have it. Yeah, gang. I see. See you later. Seems like I may have a date around the town. It's very high tech looking. Oh, that's pretty right there. I suppose I should probably activate that red tower. Hey, vehicles here too. Funny looking. Oh, something's going on. As the city lights twinkle, friendly faces beckon you to join them at the bustling border town. Immerse yourself in its prosperous yet tranquil ambience. Sense. Talk to the relic merchant. Hmm. Oh, I suppose I'll go activate this over here. game has some trouble running. Maybe I should turn down the settings some more. Great if, like, your game was... working a little better. Don't know what that is, but let's make it low. Half of these things do. Uh, let's try all that. Okay. Here we are, Jinjo's Nexus Tower. The Nexus Tower. Exactly. See, uh, think of it as Jinjo's largest service station, or an integration hub. It's something along those lines. I'm not much of a tech person myself. I see. Long story short, it's a navigator, a defense system, and a regional information center all in one enormous package. Sounds useful. The smaller ones we ran into earlier are resonance beacons. Data is shared between all beacons. You activate one, and the entire map's data will be relayed to your terminal. Pretty nifty, huh? Interesting. Just place your terminal here. Well, let's go check it out. I healed. Oh. 
That was something. Oh, well, I got a little bit of the map. So how big is the map? It's a decent size. For now at least. I'm sure they'll probably add more later. The Renaissance Nexus stores information on the surrounding area, activated to obtain the corresponding map data. Injured or down resonators can rally at the Resonance Nexus to recover their optimal state. Okay. Oh. Arrangements in place. Rover, you can come visit the magistrate at any time. Oh, no time's better than the present. Shusia, do you mind bringing Rover over to the city hall? And she didn't get very much time to show me around, huh? Oh, uh. map. Oh, we can fast travel. Okay, I don't see how teleporting back a few feet helps me. Alright. Let's make our way up. Keeps like being choppy like that. I might have to turn the settings all the way down. See if that'll help it. I don't know why it, it's running so poorly though. Got a 3070. I don't think it would be a problem. Ew, first time seeing such a crowd in front of the city hall. I was surprised too. I've never seen so many non-staff personnel here before. Are they all here for an audience with the magistrate? Most of the people here have applied for an audience, but I heard they've all been turned down. Most... Uh... Perhaps the Magistrate is not here yet. There is a small chance she's not in the City Hall, but it's very unlikely for her not to be in Zhenzhou. Or rather, it's nearly impossible for the Magistrate to leave Zhenzhou at all. With her busy schedule, it's already difficult to find any time off. In addition, as the Magistrate of Zhenzhou, Leaving the land under her jurisdiction without authentication is not allowed. I think she might have been finding a way to pop out. I think she was the one in the tree. Unless she's engaged on a business trip, or when Jinjo's safety is under threat. Yep, there's gotta be something big if that's the case. Turned down by who? Most people were advised to leave by the Magistrate's bodyguard upon sending in their applications. The ones staying here are either trying to apply for some other people, or just too stubborn to leave. The few that made it inside said it only took one freezing look from Lady Sanhua, and they were compelled to leave. 
Interesting. What kind of description is that? Sounds like you've met some snake-haired lady and got turned into stone. Usandwa. She's the magistrate's personal bodyguard. Oh, I've heard of her before. She's the all-round death glare slash terminator ice beauty. That's what the rumors say, at least. It's me they're waiting for. So this is the true confidence of our rover. I agree, though. So far, you've been ticking all the boxes in our magistrate's description. Can holographic messages be pre-recorded? Sure it can. That's what I was wondering. Have you thought of something, rover? Um... Wondering why the magistrate wanted to meet her guest in person. You mean? She's not doing this to avoid confusion for her guest. She should have anticipated the follow up of her public message. Still, how does she decide who is her guest and who's not? I can't really keep up with your thoughts. But I think a meeting with a magistrate wouldn't hurt. Same here. Anyway, our magistrate's the best lead we have for now. No matter what she has in store for Rover. What if I am not the person? VIP or not VIP? Special or not special? That doesn't matter at all. Unless there's money to earn, of course. <laughs> what do you think, Rover? Are you in a hurry to recover your memories? Uh... What really matters is how I'll live my life and create new memories. In that case... How about meeting with the Magistrate first? She may have the answers you're looking for. We're not allowed to go with you. Shizya and I will be right outside the City Hall. We'll be waiting for you. That's right! We're not going anywhere. Just give us a shout if anything goes down. Wait, no, we won't be able to hear ya! Plus they've got this rule about not yelling inside the City Hall. Alright. I guess I'm going in by myself. What do you mean I'm not the VIP the magistrates expected? To do our slow walk in. Ooh, look at that tree. It's pretty. Oh, there it is. Bamboo. Like this place more and more already. This is quite the entrance. Hello there. Please, follow me. Okay, I guess I don't even need approval. Now look at this room. Interesting. Or Kindly with, have a seat. Oh, what that is up there. I want to sit on the left. Why do I have to sit on the right? Lady Sanhua will be with you shortly. All right. trying to scan me. I didn't know they Pleased could get the mark in their eye. I apologize for the delay. My name is San Hua, the bodyguard of Madame Magistrate. Hello. 
I regret to inform you that Madam Magistrate is currently away. Prior to her departure, she instructed me to bring you these tokens and a welcome gift. Madam Magistrate advised you to explore what these tokens represent during her absence. This may help you acquire the information you desire sooner. I don't know how you know if I am really the one, but okay. I apologize for the inconvenience, but please rest assured she will be here to meet you in three days' time. Um, where is the magistrate? Sorry, I cannot disclose her whereabouts at this time. Please trust me that she is eagerly looking forward to meeting you in person. Did something happen to her? Pardon my inability to provide a better answer. Madam Magistrate has a task that she must handle alone, but she has never for one moment forgotten about her meeting with you. Not knowing exactly when you'd arrive, she had to leave without having the chance to welcome you in person. By three days. Because she will require at least three days to complete her current task. Madam Magistrate wanted to assure you that in three days, by any means, she will return to meet you in person. Is there anything I can do to help? You... I'll be sure to convey your kindness to Madam Magistrate. Please accept my sincerest gratitude. Yes, Madam Magistrate does hope to have your assistance, but there is no rush for a decision. She does not want to pressure you into anything you may not desire. We invite you to learn about our situation before making a final commitment. How am I supposed to know what the tokens represent? When it comes to these tokens, it is never her intention to confuse you with the puzzles. Instead, they should serve as clues that lead you toward the truth. Madam Magistrate deeply regrets not having the time to deliver her messages to you in person. We value your presence far more than you might imagine. The same goes for any and all information about you. Got it. How are you certain I was the guest? Since Madam Magistrate is currently away, I cannot make the final confirmation on her behalf. But you, you are truly exceptional. I heard many people were politely asked to leave. Regarding that. My eyes can see the frequencies of all living beings. Or rather, those frequencies are the only thing I can see. Huh. You, you share the same frequency with Madam Magistrate. What does my frequency look like? You look undistorted and authentic in your original form. In my eyes, you appear the way you are. What do the frequencies of others look like? They all look different. For some reason you can tell Sanhua doesn't want to continue this topic. May I have your terminal for a moment? Terminal? Yes, it's the gourd on your waist, the device every resonator carries. Madam Magistrate thought you might need it. Here you go. Wait for a moment. The utility module on your terminal has been upgraded to the latest iteration. Now, all the utilities, including sensor, levitator, and grapple, should be fully functional. You are now granted unlimited access to all regions in Jinjo. I have sent your terminal ID to every border pass and residence beacon. You will only need to display your terminal ID or activate a beacon with your terminal for entry. All right. You are free to visit any part of Jinjo. That includes the city hall? Yes, including the city hall. You have full access to its facilities. 
Also, may I ask, have you decided your place of residence in Jinzhou? If not, Madam Magistrate has arranged accommodation for you in advance, here in the city hall. Mm. Um, that won't be necessary. Understood. We will be ready to accommodate you anytime. Okay, got some items. So, the black fruit, a heavy dark fruit, just the right size for a hand, emitting a subtle fragrance. Doesn't seem to have anything unusual. Purple leaf with a faint peculiar energy. Finally crafted small Stopping device that surface is engraved with an ancient text. With the, world. the inner ring represents the four spirits of heaven, indicating the location. East, Ti Long West, the white tiger, south, the vermilion bird, north, the black tortoise. The outer ring represents the twelve earthly branches indicating the time. Zi Shou Yin Ao Xin Zi. Wu, Wei, Chen, Yu, It is natural Hai. to feel dreadful of the unknown. Yet, the sugar pearl looks like me, sugar. A round pearl shaped candy ball hidden inside a simple sweet wrapper. How nice they gave me a treat. I'm gonna be bombarded when I try to leave. It'd be great if it wouldn't put my cursor in the middle of the screen every time it loads. Using my controller for heck's sake. I wonder if I wonder if my sea cleaner is what's making stuff run bad. That would be funny. Why did it pop back up? Why is it not closing? I don't want your garbage. So annoying when stuff happens like that. Crowd disappeared. Hello. Rover. It would appear I'm who they're looking for. It took you so long. What gives? Was our magistrate a chatterbox? You told Shixia and Yang Yang about your conversation with Sandoval. So Madam Magistrate's not in the city hall. Hmm. Why the long face, Yang Yang? <laughs> it sure is. Shisya, the increasing tacit fields, uncannily powerful tacit discords, and now, our magistrate's absence. Plus, the mysterious rover. Indeed. I'm afraid. Hmm. Before that, what should we get for dinner? Quite parched and hungry. Aren't you the practical type? I'd love me some chili sauce tofu, ginger mao chai, <gasps> spicy meat slices. Oh, I'm starving. Wait a sec. We still need to meet up with Baijiu first, right? Yeah, now you made me hungry. I have curry here and I could eat it. Do you have any plans, Rover? Um, let's investigate the items. Rover, do you mind if we have a look at the tokens? You showed Yang Yang and Chixia the tokens. So, what's so special about them? Mm. Wait a second. I have an idea. What if these are supposed to represent the mythical bees for every direction? The black fruit could be the black tortoise to the north. 
And the others could be other... I don't remember what all of them are. Take the candy. A candy? Oh, I've had these when I was a kid. I think they were called... Sugar pearls? But I haven't seen anything like this in a while. Went out of trend, maybe. Hmm. It reminds me of my childhood. I still remember the taste. That was so sweet. I was really scared of getting my flu shots when I was little. And sometimes, the nurse lady would hand out candies like this as a prize for being good. Yeah? But what does it mean as a token? That's what I was hoping you could answer. Hmm. It seems like a miniature sundial. A sundial? It is a horological device that tells time by using sunlight's direction. Sundials in Huanglong usually have marked lines for the 12 shichuns in a day. And every shichun is two hours long, with some showing seasons or months. The design of this sundial looks a bit unusual, though. Wait a second. So there's two hours in each shichun. And there's 12 of them. Never mind. Never mind. I'm dumb. Second, I thought it was going to be more than 24 hours. On this sundial, time seems to be represented by the 12 earthly branches drawn on the outer ring of its surface. And its inner ring shows the four symbols, each representing one cardinal direction. These are the four famous auspicious beasts in Huang Long's folklore. They are believed to protect people from all four directions under heaven. Generally, the teal long represents the east, the white tiger stands for the west, the vermilion bird stands for the south, and finally, we have the black tortoise for the north. So I think these are um, Japanese folklore. I know about the black tortoise and the white tiger, but I've never heard of the other two. Well, let's pay attention to this quickly just in case we need it. Teal Long is the east, the white tiger is the west, the vermilion bird is the south, and the black tortoise of the north. It seems the sundial is supposed to show both time and direction, but how could it work when there is not a compass attached? Not to mention, the lack of sunlight basically renders it useless. Ugh. That requires way too much brain power. The color of this leaf seems a bit odd. Can't tell what tree it is. I think I can feel something from it. Hmm. Never mind. It's too faint. Maybe it was just my imagination. Hmm. Sorry. I can't tell what kind of tree this leaf belongs to either. This is a mangosteen fruit. Mangosteens are not native to Zhenzhou. They are usually imported by boat. I think we can find more mangosteens being sold at the nearby markets. They're not always available for purchase, though. The frequent tacit discord outbreaks can disrupt transportation and cause shortages. The Midnight Rangers have greatly improved the situation in recent years, but still... Midnight Rangers, huh? Catchy name. That's all. So Chizia and I share similar childhood memories of the Sugar Pearl. Do you remember it too, Rover? It doesn't ring a bell. When it comes to candies, no one knows them better than the kids of Jinjo. Let's go ask. Uh, we should go find Bicey or. But is he first? I don't know how to say her name. Oh, right. Baisha's still waiting Baisha. for us at the academy. Baisha, huh? Okay. Um. Let's ask the kids since we're here. Hello. <clears throat> Have you seen this candy before? 
After a tense moment of silence, the little girl seemed to have finally made up her mind about a great sacrifice. She offered you her hand, revealing a small piece of candy. Uh, I, I don't have candy like that. But I've got this. It's really good. You, um, you can have one. Thank you. Why? Madam Magistrate said we should be nice to every guest. Hmm. A small gift from a child. He hopes you enjoy a sweet time in Jinzuo. Popular treat among the children of Jinzuo. The candy wrapper bears signs of being eagerly clutched by tiny hands. Its fold increases, revealing its cherished history. So I wonder if maybe the candy is supposed to represent the youth who will be the future of Jinsuo. Uh, what's this? There's still some distance to the Huashu Academy. Let's see who reaches there faster. Yang Yang just installed some apps for you, remember? Just look for the one that's called Utilities on the terminal. Okay. See? Whoa. Just open the util See? Interesting. See? Just open the utilities, select the grapple, and there you go. If you want to be a hero like the Jinjo Speedster, you gotta master the grapple. Come on, give it a shot, Rover. I did. What is this? Reach the top of the building without what? Oh. The end has come. Oh, whoops. Without climbing, huh? So I'm quite expecting that. <sighs> Why am I struggling with this so much? Did it once. <gasps> Oops. Forgot how to activate the parachute thing. <gasps> what am I doing wrong? Cherish every gain. Got gauntlets. Another gun. Oh, wait a sec. Someone's looking for me. Yeah? What? When did he disappear? Don't worry. It's all right. I'll be right there. Duty calls. Oops. Almost forgot. Can't be late. Sorry, Rover, Yang Yang. I've got to head off for my shift. I'll join you right after I'm done, all right? Okay. 
Have fun. If you need me, just shout my name. And I, the Jinjo Speedster, will be there in a sec. Oh, so you're the Speedster? Stop! Stop! Don't call me that! Anyway, I gotta go. You guys okay on your own? Give me a heads up when there's any updates. Sure. Go do your thing. Don't worry. I'm staying with him. Rover, let's go inside. Well, I don't know. I'm kind of looking at this cat in the grass. Can I pet the cat, please? No? Oh. Ooh. Um. Um. Okay. Uh. Pet the cat. Why did I not pet the cat? Why am I not bending down to pet the cat? Sad. Oh. oh let's go inside, I guess. See what I have in store in here. Replied to my message. She's probably busy in her lab. Over there must be Mr. Mortify from the Department of Safety. Baiju once mentioned him before. He might be able to help us get in touch with Baiju, but um, it seems we've caught him at a bad time. Yeah, he's got red hair. But we're wondering if you prefer. Anyway, let's try asking him, shall we? What? You need something? Uh, we're here for Bai... Bai Shi. Mr. Mortify, please pardon our intrusion. We are friends of Bai Zhi, and we're here to look for her. I see. I hope I didn't cause any offense earlier. Not at all. It was us who bothered you. Bai Zhi should be in the data analysis room. I'll go tell her you're here. Man, I love his voice. Always like a good low voice that has like a slight bit of gravel. It's amazing. Thank you, sir. This is Mortify, a renowned figure in the Department of Safety. He was born in the New Federation, and he joined the Washu Academy a few years ago. I heard his talent is truly impressive. People say he's a bit scary at first glance. But he's actually quite kind-hearted once you get to know him. Shizia oh, told me he's quite popular with the kids. Fred, why does the Department of Laboratory Evaluation work overtime every day? The Department of Laboratory Evaluation people are working every day overtime? For what? Still tripping us all into working overtime too? Yeah, why do they work so late? Are they getting extra overtime or what? The Department of Laboratory Evaluation just can't seem to hit their target goals. Despite receiving additional subsidies, they don't even get me started on the Department of Water and Electricity. They're a complete joke. For real? How did you know? Is the Lab Evaluation Department swamped catching up on the supporter schedule? I heard they even offered to test Lui Xing's latest product to see if it improves work efficiency. I think it's called something like Lemon Blast. I've heard of that thing. It's said to keep you awake all day with just one pill. I swear, it works. I finished three papers in a row with the help of blasting mints. DM me for a discounted price. First come, first served. Let's ace this together. Promotion of trial period medical products is strictly prohibited here. It will result in an immediate ban. Rip bro, the admin strikes again. Orphan account. <laughs> Funny. They've got a sense of humor. What's going on over here? Just who on earth is this super important guest? Where's that super important guest who absorbed echoes with their bare hands? The Department of Laboratory Evaluation is willing to pay big bucks for their cooperation in our projects. Really? 
with their hands? No way. No wonder that the magistrate wanted to meet with them. How the hell did they achieve that? Dude, imagine having them as a research subject. It's gonna set us up for years. Please, someone, anyone, you've got their contacts, share them. They're rumored to be showing up at Hexua Academy today. Today? But I'm out on the field trip. Damn. Y'all gotta treat our guests with respect. Stop acting like a bunch of wackos. Sure, I'll be very polite, so this precious test subject willingly join our projects. You sound alarmingly creepy, turts. <sighs> Anyone remember the tacit discord attack from over a couple of centuries ago? Some elite classes actually made it into the city. The then general swooped in with his army and got rid of them. We didn't know how to deal with leftover reverberations back then. It almost caused a mini waveform phenomenon. Then apparently, a person with dark hair and golden eyes showed up out of nowhere to absorb all that excess energy with their bare hands. Saved the day, then disappeared without a trace. Sounds familiar. Our guest must be some big person then, to be able to pull off something similar. Okay, now, I must get into contact with this person. Guys, you have their number or something, DM me. Hey, Polly, how's it going? You doing all right? I am back. Here you are. The data we collected in the Gorges of Spirits has been submitted for analysis, and we'll have the results today. I have the equipment for your physical examinations ready, too. You doing alright? Hope you got, uh, hope you get better soon. It's no fun being sick. Make sure you have some soup. It'll probably help you. Any discoveries during your trip to the city hall? He showed Baishi the togiums you received and told her about what happened. What do you think, Baiji? I swear I'll never be able to pronounce her name correctly. Hmm. I have a hypothesis about the sugar pearl, but I need to verify it first. If possible, I recommend conducting non-destructive tests of all these tokens you have. Sounds simple and clear. Data is always straightforward. The first three tokens can be tested at my branch's laboratory. This miniature sundial will require radiographic testing, though. To access the necessary equipment, we'll need to file a request with one of the Tacitite Studies related branches. All right. Tacitite? That's the field Mortifee specializes in, isn't it? Yes. Mortify is the branch of Tacitite Weaponry's head within the Department of Safety. One moment, please. Soon after, Vizri turn with Mortify. Give me the items to be tested. Anything else you need me to know, you can let me know now. You may retrieve your items in 20 minutes, and the analysis report will be ready five minutes after that. Take a right, and you'll find me in the testing room. Okay, I'll give you all the tokens. I don't see anything special with these items. Speaking of the sugar pearl, you all remember eating sugar pearls like this when you were kids? Well, I don't think I've ever had anything like this in my childhood. Mr. Mortify, I heard you weren't raised in who long. No, I'm from the New Federation. You mean the sugar pearl might be unique to Huang Long? I believe so. I remember a nurse lady giving me a candy like that. So, sugar pearls like this were distributed at hospitals, perhaps. The sugar pearl might be a type of medicine. Its sweet taste would have made it more palatable to children. Miss Baija, as a Huang Long local working at the academy, I suppose you already had an idea about what it is? Man, if that's true, then I guess I was way off. I thought it was supposed to represent the youth and that they're the future or something. 
I do have my theory as to what it is, but it still needs verification. I wouldn't proclaim any solid answers before confirming the chemical composition of this item with reliable data. Seconded. Let's find out through actual testing, then. It will take some time before the results are ready. If you have other matters to take care of, you should go ahead. I'll let you know once we have the results. All right, I'll leave it in your capable hands. Shall we wait here at the Academy, Rover? I'll take a quick look around here, then. Sure you can. But don't forget your physical examination. I'll see you in a while for that. All right. Yeah, how's your day going otherwise, Polly? Do anything fun? This must be like a... I was gonna say a server room, but those look like items. What we got here? An unusual device has a complex structure and a groove that can fit an entire arm. Cold to touch. As you press your arm into it, you feel something sharp and felt a slight pang of pain. Rover? Pumli, please don't touch that. It's dangerous. What's so dangerous? On the table, there was a photo album neatly placed. It seemed like it was frequently leafed through, and the cover was slightly curved. A single ph photograph lay inside, seemingly cut from a newspaper. It depicts a woman in a white coat gazing at an infant, her face hidden from view by the ankle. The paper looks well kept. Rover, I don't think we'll find what we need here. Oh, who knows? Maybe it's research. Is there a vehicle in here? What's this? See a shelf filled with an assortment of research materials and books. Feasibly report on cooking tacit right tacit discords. Port of Savate Mysteries or Tise and Tenon joints in the Hulong architecture. Also, the shelf creaks under your hand. You try to steady it, but it's too late. A wooden block falls squarely onto your foot. It's a critical hit. Rover! I will be... F I took 147 damage for that. That's kind of funny, actually. Just a shiny box, but filled with random engineer parts. around a little. Closed up. That's how I leave. <sighs> I think that's everything for now. So, I return. I have the equipment ready. I'll need to check your health status and see if there are any unusual fluctuations. Holy, you have no idea what kind of heart attack I just had right now. For a second, I just thought I forgot to unmute my mic, but I'm pretty sure that I did unmute it. <laughs> oh, what a little hang of uh, adrenaline I got right there. Now let's begin, if you're ready. All right, let's begin. Can you try to manifest the crownless's frequency without using your terminal? I'll try my best. Hmm. Uh. Sorry, seems I can't do that. Hmm. I am not seeing the crownless's data in your terminal. So it was indeed absorbed into your body. The crownless frequency energy was consumed by your body, leaving no trace behind. But how did you manage to do that? It's as though there's another mechanism within your body capable of absorbing frequency energy. 
What kind of impact will it have on me? I can't say without sufficient data. To put it simply, it seems there is another dimension or a creature hiding inside your body. A creature? I have like a cool symbiote in me or something. Sounds like I have a little universe within me. A universe? That's a poetic and intriguing comparison. It seems we need a simulated combat to figure out what happened in your body. Yeah? Please hold your terminal tight and stay still. I mean, I'm staying pretty still. Oh boy, what's gonna happen? Oh. That means simulated training ground. Don't worry. Yang Yang and I will assist you. Please fight the simulated tacit discords like you normally would. Alright, I'll give it a shot. Yeah. Fiery. Let's try Conception. her out. Administering first aid. She is ice, I see. Yotan had previously detected, your bodily functions are in good condition. And you seem entirely unaffected by the Crownless's energy. Now, we will temporarily boost your resonance ability for further testing. Transmitting frequency. He attacks with a creature. Foolish. Let me be your blade. Precipitant! Swift and resolute. I sense your weakness. Not the slightest fluctuation in your frequency energy. So it was not your resonance ability either. Hmm. I suppose we'll do another round to fully test your potential. gathered all the data we need. The test is ending soon. Rover, you can find the exit straight up ahead. Rover, right. can you hear me? Hello? Try to leave. The comm line is dead. Something's wrong. Gotta be cautious. Now, where is the exit? Hey, my character's actually talking. For some reason, I couldn't exit the first time. Not this time either. Huh. I'm back to the same spot again. And this... moon. What is happening? Hmm. Are those... tacit discords? Hello. Oh, it's going all right. I'm trying to play without the game bugging out. Ooh. I'm gonna have to fight them. Rover, do you still remember what you saw? I believe so.
Um, I mean, I like the game. I like the combat a lot, but I've had Can to turn down the settings details? like seven times because it's just not running that well. I think it might need an optimization patch. A giant tacit discord with a scythe. A giant tacit discord with a scythe. It doesn't sound like the crownless. It might be even higher ranked. This is the first time we've run into anything like this since we put the training ground into use. The Sonorosphere captures everything that once happened in a specific time and place, be it good or bad. We built this simulated training ground after the structure of Sonorospheres. How are you doing though? You doing anything fun today? Our goal was to extract pure remnant energy with the simulated Sonorosphere. But we cannot guarantee that all abnormal frequencies were eliminated. Your arrival may have revived the abnormal frequencies we accidentally captured. Remnant energy sometimes gives rise to memory manifestations of sentient beings. You may have encountered one such manifestation. I believe I have. I suspect it could have something to do with your unconscious mind. Such anomalies could have been hiding in the simulation, and they resonated with your subconscious. Or perhaps they were lifted from your subconscious in the first place. Just writing, huh? Fun? Are you trying to write a book or something, or is it an assignment? I'm afraid I can't give you a conclusion yet. Not until we've run a thorough analysis on the data collected. I'll also check the simulated Sonorosphere again, to see what on earth happened to it. In terms of bodily functions, you seem to be in perfect health. In fact, all the data look quite good. Story? I see. Man, any story can become a book, boy. All you have to do is believe in yourself. But if you feel anything unusual, Please come find me anytime. Yeah, I, I encourage it. You got some cool make a full story, make a book out of it, and if people like it, they'll read it. Uh, thank you, I will. Yeah. I mean, even if it's just a story for yourself, that's fine, too. Oh, was... Oh boy, Polly, I just unlocked the gotcha. <laughs> you enjoy it, do what you do? I am Baijiu, a researcher at the Huashu Academy. Hey, actually... Let me witness where this encounter will take us. Unlocked her. I think that was probably predetermined. Oh, no, 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 no. I'm a free-to-play player. I don't pay for gacha games. I do like that tiger-looking guy on the right. That's cool. Ooh, that sword looks dope. Let's see, so I need 1,600 for a 10 fur. There's more weapons here. What the weapon? I only know what three of these are, so I guess I'll go for the sword. I assume these resonances that I have here are like, um, or sorry, the echoes are like, um, like artifacts in Genshin or something. <laughs> You'd smash. <laughs> I 
see. Oh, you're gonna lurk? Okay. Sounds good. Glad to have you around. If you want, I actually have a um, lurk command for my chat. All you gotta do is um, exclamation port lurk. And it should work. Let's see, how do you edit? Oh, this is interesting. I can only three people. Hmm. Yeah, enjoy your lurk. I just looked at the team. Yotan no. and I will ensure your safety. I don't think I really want to replace them, though. Let's see. So I get more data bank XP. Could level that up. So I have guns for some reason, but I don't think I can equip them. I can only do the sword. the item to do that though. Soul phase three. Sprays throughout the union level. Every ten union levels. Okay. Good to know. Let's level her up then. Equip stuff for all of them. Let's get that. Then whoever the third is will get this. I just gotta go out and start fighting things when I have a chance. Hello. Here's your sundial. Intact as it was. Mr. Mortify, can we have the test results? Simply put, it's hollow. Here, try tapping on it. It sounds different from a solid object. It's not just a timekeeping tool. It's an intricate mortise and tenon puzzle box. This sundial is hollow with an inner compartment. We scanned it. 
and there's a small paper scroll inside. Let's see, so I need to figure this out so I can open it. However, it's missing a crucial component. We should be able to spin the wheels on the sundial once the right component is installed. You're quite the expert. I have some basic knowledge, but there is someone else who is more knowledgeable in automata mechanics than I am. It wouldn't have taken me this long if we were dealing with tacitite weapons. Install the missing part, then rotate the wheels to their correct positions, and you should be able to solve the puzzle and access the paper scroll. All right, well, I'll do that then, thank you. However, I still have no idea what the missing component should look like. Shall we go ask the experts in this field? And no need to ask him. I can help you with this. I just need some time to think it over. Uh, one moment. I have an incoming call. Mm. Oh boy. What is it? You certainly are well informed. It's indeed beautiful data. Good taste. Well, since you've put it that way... Rover. Mr. Mortify's expression seems to have softened, don't you think? Yeah, he looks like a purring cat now. We haven't even asked him to help us with assembling... He's already started working on it. It looks like Mr. Mortify needs more time. Maybe we should give him some space to concentrate. Rover, let's come back later, shall we? That's fine with me. We can... We can talk to him again. So I can investigate the surrounding. I was in here already. Oh, I can talk to these people. These are some of Doc's. Mr. Chin Kingly put together for us sort of like extra homework. A little gift from our resident genius. He's always making breakthroughs so quickly. We struggle to keep up. We have to keep up. You can't even try to keep pace. Why bother being an academic? Okay. I think those are what I need. I might as well just go talk with them. Ooh. Hmm. Yes, of course. I've already noticed all that you mentioned. Indeed. You just pointed out a blind spot in my thinking. I wonder, is he some kind of hybrid of a uh, human and a creature? It seems like he has scales growing off of him. Your workshop? That hellish place? <laughs> Stop sweet-talking me. I get it. <laughs> Sorry for keeping you waiting. Let's get back to the sundial. It's a mortise and tenon-based puzzle box. The missing component in the middle needs to fulfill two entirely different structural requirements at the same time. Considering its entire structure, this component needs an automatic buckle that goes down on top of an embedded pointer. I'll drop a design for you. The parts you'll need can be found in Jiang Li's workshop. I've already informed him about it. You'll only need to go fetch the parts in his place. He keeps a box full of them. That's the same person the other person was talking about when I asked them. Um... Liu Shengli. Shengli. Mr. Mortify? Is that the person you were talking to earlier? Mr. Xiangli Yao, I think? Yes. It doesn't take me much effort to figure out this little sundial here. But I do admit talking with Zhang Li made it easier. He's the expert in automata mechanics I mentioned earlier. The only principal investigator we currently have. Why is that? It's a minefield of clutter and chaos. A murky swamp within the academy walls, as vile and perilous as some primeval forest before the lament. Any civilized human would find it impossible to stand. It's just cluttered, right? 
I see. Shall we go and retrieve the parts now, Rover? Okay, let's go. Getting very hungry. Food would be so good right now. This is not very far, I guess. I mentally prepared myself for the worst, but this place looks much better than Mr. Mortify's description. Yeah, I was already in here once. Though it is a bit hard to figure out where we should start. Alright, well, let's go to the workbench. This should be it. It's quite a box full. Let's go back and show it to Mr. Mortify. All right. Here you are. Mr. Mortify, we found the parts. Good. Bring it to me. I mean, you're right here. There's really not somewhere to bring it to. The test results are in. What's your conclusion? The mangosteen is just an ordinary fruit. It's suitable for regular consumption. We found nothing unusual about it. From the purple leaf you presented, I detected subtle fluctuations in tacit discord's frequency from two distinct sources, but they were overlapping and difficult to distinguish. This is a rare occurrence. The scattered nature of these fluctuations rules out the possibility of them being left behind through contact. This is not an ordinary leaf, but it doesn't seem to be a tacit discord either. Based on the data we gathered, I believe it was sampled from an area struck with the wave-worn phenomena. What would that be? The wave-worn phenomena? Yes, the anomalies that occurred after the lament including the formation of tacit fields, etheric sea, retroact rain, and gravity loss. These are collectively called the wave-worn phenomena. Interesting. And the lament was the start of it all. As for the sugar pearl, it has been determined to be a type of oral vaccine. Hmm. This sugar pearl expired over 20 years ago. The low temperature storage life for this vaccine is about two years. So it's pretty old. A 20 year old vaccine. Hmm. Could it be related to the children's epidemic in Zhenzhou two decades ago? The archives in the academy should have information on the sugar pearl. The archives here are organized in a unique way. You can start by searching the keywords at the lobby terminal. Hmm. Maybe we'll do that. Mr. Mortify? The missing pointer has been installed, and now the sundial should be complete. So, the discs are rotatable now? Yes. Align the correct markers with the pointer we just installed, and then you should be able to open it. Well, let's do that then. Four symbols represent cardinal directions. The earthly branches and four symbols. These symbols are related to the sexagenary cycle. It's an intricate way of recording time in Huanglong. Nowadays, it is mainly reserved for calendars, numerology, and indexing. But it's falling out of daily use. Why is that? Now, what kind of information could it represent? It's the filing system. Most of Huang Long's libraries and databases still use this method to organize their archives, namely the grand libraries. That's good to know. It's like a time-based filing system. Exactly. Languages may evolve, names may change, but time remains constant. That is very smart. It's an elegant system indeed. The Academy's public archives are organized in this manner too. Hmm. Well, 
go find the archives about the sugar pearl. The sundial has a secret compartment. Date the two discs to the right positions to unlock it and discover the hidden contents. I found it! It's located on the way shelf! Okay, so I'm gonna assume the way marker on the dial needs to face the same Mount way the sugar Kung pearl Fu. does. Ooh, way! Grover, it's here! Let's read it. Grover is an acute infectious disease with no effective treatment. Primarily affecting children under six years old, it is highly contagious with severe symptoms including fever, limb pain, and muscle atrophy. To combat the disease, a live and needed vaccine has been developed and successfully passed phase three. Clinical trials on June 16th at 3 p.m. Medical section established a specialized team for the vaccine's development. This review aims to analyze the research progress of the vaccine and provide valuable insights for further studies. Results have shown promising immunizations outcomes, making the vaccine a potential solution for preventing Novafe infection. Preliminary application of a neutralizing antibody detected method for Novafe pseudovirus. Or pseudovirus, sorry. <coughs> this. Excuse me. Efficiency, a live, annuated vaccine against Novafe pseudovirus via injection. Clinical trial period of oral administration of sugar pearl. Live, annuated vaccine against Novafe pseudovirus. There's more to read. It goes so fast. Let's see, the first one was female. Healthy, no hereditary diseases. Message from section member, Ms. Ping Li. Is it really okay? Someone has to test it. I'm willing to test it on myself and my son. Uh, related report entries. Novafe fever cases surpassed 2,000 with death toll rising in April. Waxu Academy forms vaccine research group under P.I. Zhengli's leadership. Shinzo TD outbreak paralyzes transportation and medical supply distribution. Oh, I lost my... Oral no Novafe fever vaccine. I have annuated mass production quality standards and transportation overview of sugar pearl. Abstract. This report details the importance of delivering Hong Long's medical supplies to Jinzo, which served as the front line of defense against TD outbreak. The Midnight Rangers valiantly defended the city from the fierce outbreak, but due to the transportation line blockages, the second generation sugar pearl vaccine, known for its stability and suitability for children, faced challenges in reaching the city. This report outlines the quality standard for mass production and transportation of the vaccine and other medical supplies during the war. With a focus on ensuring their efficiency and safety, the in innovative use of the most or the more stable second generation vaccine played a crucial role in protecting the citizens from Jinzhou from TD outbreak and making a valuable contribution to the battle against the deadly disease. Quality standards for mass production of vaccines, management guidelines for storage, transportation of vaccines, and assessment of current vaccine transportation methods. The transportation of the second generation sugar pearl vaccine is a critical step in combating the TD outbreak. In response to the challenge posed by interrupted main transportation routes and treacherous terrain, a thorough plan was implemented. Refrigerated trucks equipped with temperature monitoring equipment were used, accompanied by a professional technicians to ensure proper storage and transport conditions. Additionally, due to the severity of the epidemic, time sensitivity of vaccine delivery, medical supplies were divided into seven teams for transportation. 
The assistance of the Resonator counterparts was vital in navigating through a difficult terrain, potential tacit fields. As of August 5th, only one team successfully arrived within the vaccine expiration date, thanks to the efforts of an unknown Resonator who exhorted us and eliminated the TDs. Concerning the test report, the resonator that accomplished accompanied the supplies through a fierce battle displayed astounding stability in its waveform. The data is yet truly remarkable, however, I can't shake the feeling that I've seen it somewhere before. Yet there are no registered resonators in our database with a similar characteristic. What did this mean? After some searching, I discovered that the data closely resembled the first resonator I came across earlier. However, since we didn't have standardized resonance test reports at the time, it was not included in our current database. I have duly noted and placed it in the pending section for further investigation. P.S. Due to health reasons, my supervisor has advised me to take medical leave as a result. I have entrusted this matter to Section 34, and they will complete the handover tomorrow. The report doesn't seem right. It mentions a person who existed during the founding of our state, but the time span is too long for it to be the same person in both reports. Perhaps it is characters from history? I'll wait until the 31st to recover, and then inquire about this potential mistake. For now, I'll keep this report with me. I'll work three consecutive nights without rest. People really like there to read right here. here. One photo shows a group of researchers led by a woman in her 30s. Everyone looks excited and happy. The other photo shows an infant in diapers with a slender hand holding a spoon with a sugar pearl in it, directed towards the infant. Huh. Hmm. Interesting. So it was a vaccine to help the kids. Very interesting indeed. Well, give me one moment. I need to go blow my nose real quick, but I will be right back. It is natural to feel dreadful of the unknown. Yet, there are times. This is a testament to my connection with the world around me, and it's very much my companion now, bearing witness to it. It is natural to feel dreadful of the unknown. Yet, there are Alright, I'm back. I don't know if it's the temperature in my room or what, but my nose has been a little runny. Okay. The first resonator. Resonator name redacted. Resonator reports amnesia regarding their resonance ability with no clear time of awakening. A tacit mark is present on their right hand. No visible post awakening physical altercations. Alterations, sorry. Their tacit mark and pupils display a golden halo when they exert their forte. Resonance spectrum tests show how strong 
syntony with multiple patterns, but the cause of resonators awakening remains con inconclusive. Further, in excuse me, I can't speak now. Further examination is needed to determine the origin of their resonance abilities. Analysis of test samples have revealed a non-convergent Rabel's curve with a no, no so periodic waveform, which classifies as a tangential resonator. Resonator's waveform graphs show excuse me, elliptical fluctuations. The patterns of the time domain is stable, but no abnormal waveforms. Examination results are determined to be within normal parameters and bears no risk of overclocking. During the Battle of Gorges of Spirits, a resonator engaged in combat with an unidentified tacit discord, the Crownless, resulting in a high-risk victory and resolution of the crisis. The morale of the army was boosted and they achieved invincibility. Three days later, the battle concluded in triumph, with soldiers reporting seeing resonators standing next to Chu. The event marked on the founding of the Chizhu in the same year. Data loss must be addressed before next database maintenance to prevent further issues. If I remember correctly, Zhenzhou was established during a year of Wei, several cycles ago. Interesting. The Zhenzhou City Hall and Huashu Academy were built in the same year. The hmm. Gorges of Spirits battle sparked Zhenzhou's founding. And the formidable tacit discord described here? Hmm. I believe it is the crownless. Maybe that's what I witnessed. Let's go talk to Yang Yang again. Rover, about the sugar pearl. What about it? <sighs> Life has never been easy after the lament. But I still remember that sweetness from my childhood. Well, that's good. The battle against that epidemic in Jinzhou was grueling. Once infected, children either died or suffered lifelong disabilities, resonators or not. With tacit discords ravaging Jinzhou and severing all communication with other cities, desperation ran high. Words are not enough to convey how desperate people must have felt. They resorted to self-experimentation with a newly developed vaccine, risking everything for a chance. If they failed... They made it. We owe our presence here to those who came before us. It's important <laughs> to remember their sacrifices. If the Sugar Pearl points to the information and reports we have just read, what is Madam Magistrate trying to convey? Who knows? Is it related to your past? Or is it... Um... Maybe she's trying to tell us something else. Mm. Are you saying that the information contained in the Sugar Pearl doesn't directly point to your identity? Probably not. Rover. About the sugar pearl. Um. About the time on the sundial. We have the symbol way now. This should go with the time part. But we can't yet solve the puzzle with this alone. Maybe we can figure out the cardinal direction part by looking into the tokens again. It might have something to do with how we got one of the clues. Hmm. A lot of hoops to jump through. What do you think, Rover? Uh, let's talk about all the tokens. Let's look back on what we've gathered so far. Our clues point to the Sugar Pearl as a key in solving the Sundial's puzzle. 
I like when I get to hear him talk. Simply put, one token can lead to multiple targets, and one target may hold several pieces of information. We both had a reason for meeting. The Magistrate had information to share, while I had questions to ask. However, her tokens contain both what she wants to tell me and what I want to ask her, making it seem like she is complicating matters. Or maybe... Or maybe she was running out of time. That's why she could only offer us scraps of the puzzle, instead of actually putting it together. Or perhaps she's indeed a master strategist, leaving breadcrumbs for us to follow. The initial clues may simply be a test to... To weed out the wrong recipients. She needed to ensure that those who may come across these tokens without understanding their true meaning would not be able to use them for access. Yeah? If it were you, Yang Ying, what would you do to make sure the recipient gets what you mean? I would emphasize my true message by repeating it again and again. Maybe that's what she did with the hint. Okay. Well, we solved the sugar pearl. Leftovers I could eat that would be so good right now. Oh, I kind of wish I had pizza though. Sadly, I do not. Oof, it's taking a while to load into the next area. Patrol. How's it going, Rover? Feeling spry as ever? Yeah, feeling spry as ever. Baijin said he is in great health. No issues to report. I wouldn't say that. I think there was an issue when they had me in that simulation. We made some progress in investigating the tokens, too. How did it go for you? Ah, nothing special. A typical patrol. Well, Uncle Chang's cat climbed a tree, and on its way down, it landed on Uncle Chempy's head, causing him to take a tumble. Some dogs kept barking and have been scaring the passers-by. I received a report about someone going missing. I just logged the case and talked to the person who reported it. You're not the one they're searching for, though. Anyhow, I need to visit the person who reported the case tomorrow. I see. Oh, I also tried searching for Rover's terminal number, but the system came up with nothing. The latest record was from today when I took Rover for registration. That's pretty much the update for now. Hmm. It's quite a lot. You've got me feeling hungry. In this game and in real life. It's the middle of the night. Of course you're hungry. All right, I still owe you a meal. The night markets are closed, though. Let's grab breakfast at Panhua's restaurant tomorrow before my shift. Meet you guys there in the morning. Be there, or be square. <sighs> Why would you do that to me? Why would you make me wait until the next morning to eat? Uh, I'll be there. Do you have a place to stay, Rover? Hmm. I said it's not necessary to stay at the city hall. <laughs> I'll just say not yet for me. <laughs> I... I have a vacant guest room in my house. And if you don't mind coming over... Aren't you forgetting something, Yang Yang? Rover told us this morning that he's been offered a stay at the city hall. <laughs> Alright, enough chatter or the sun's gonna come up. Let's get Rover back to the city hall and we'll leave the rest till tomorrow. No need for trouble.
Was she watching me again? Or is it someone else? Who knows? I don't want to change the time. Whatever. I didn't want to change the time, but I was forced into it. Activated. Ooh, flower. Flower. Time to go to the restaurant. Get normal. I'm not much of a fan of spicy food. I can't handle it. What did I tell ya? Nothing beats a bowl of spicy noodles in the morning. I mean, I'm sure it'd probably wake you up. What do you say, Rover? Hmm. It's way too spicy. Looks like Baijer's locked herself in the lab again. Hasn't left since yesterday. Bet we won't see her till she's done with her research. I see. No, wait. Since you're the subject of that research, we could use you as bait to lure her out. We can tie you up at the Academy's entrance. How about you don't do that? <laughs> and with just a few tucks of the rope, I bet every researcher will come running at you with Baijer leading the pack. Hook, line, and sinker. Let's not try that. By the way, now that we figured out the sugar pearl and the sundial, all that's left is that weird leaf and run-of-the-mill mangosteen, right? So it only took us one trip to the Academy to solve half of our problems. Either Rover's really smart, or Madam Magistrate was going to make it easy for us to begin with. What's our next plan of action, Rover? Hmm. Let's look into the mangosteen first. As for the mangosteen, we got people selling these at the market nearby. We might find some clues there. Mangosteens are not from Jinjo. These fruits are usually brought in by boat. Should we start from the harbor? Let's leave the city. Do you think the token is guiding us outside the city? Hmm. I can't tell them about a dream I had when I don't even know what that's talking about. Uh, Madam Magistrate gave me the access pass for that. The access pass may be another hint. There are usually no checkpoints set up in the city besides at City Hall. The pass isn't required unless you have to leave the city borders. Now why didn't I think of that? Gotta hand it to you, Yang Yang. It's a no-go for me if you're leaving the city. My shift's coming up. Protect Rover well, and shoot me a message if you need anything, all right, Yang Yang? Um... Uh, Yang Yang is safe with me. I believe in you! Without a doubt. Well, let us head out to the outskirts of town. Okay, I can claim things now. Interesting. Oh, we can try out some new characters. See if they're any good. Ooh, that guy is pretty.
오케이. I like it. It's a cool sword too. This guy's good. Fury boils. Burn. Tranquility. Fear no more. Ooh. I like this guy. He's fast, he can spam. It's my my kind of style. You can always appreciate a warrior who can attack fast and has some good combos. Try out all of them. That way we can get all the items for doing them. So I guess they have different button combos. Ooh. Oh, I already like this person a lot already. Combos, that's my thing. Now they killed me with one hit, but okay. Strike from the shadows. The hour is upon us. Why is it slow motion? Healing. Endless reverberation. God, there's extra skills. Uh, 
Ow. Sounds come forth. Okay. The hour is upon us. Verity shines. Transmitting frequency. Let's use that so we can actually use this person. Interesting. No hesitation. Moment of resonance. Character was cool with the combos. They ended up dying one hit for some reason. I don't know if that was a bug or what. Okay, hold. Okay. Gun's not too bad. I think the gun would take longer in battles, but it's it's really not that bad for gameplay. It worked pretty good. Okay. Let's try out this researcher. Okay. So he also uses a gun. Interesting.
some reason why I'm in these trials is making my internet go down. Let me be your blade. Storm, hear my command. Victory, guide my blade. I will protect. Kind of like this person too. Uh. Let's take it slow. How reliable. Play more, not too bad. Now it's my turn. Try this out. Silence. Oh, not too bad. Ow. Let's do this another way. I see. You fill up this gauge by shooting with the bullets and then... Feel my wrath. You can use the Y to do more damage. I got your back. Attack is the best defense. Everyone stand down. Like this person's attacks are slow, but I kind of like, kind of like it better than the scientist dudes. Okay, we got all those done. Okay. Let's Collect our trophies. Okay. Well, I wonder if I can buy food. Oops. Great food, great value. Hello. What can I get for you today? I'd like to buy some ingredients. I see. I'll get some Sweden sauce. Some hot pot paste. Some clear soup. Salt. Of course, I have to get sugar. And some chili. Not to forget about the foul meat. Okay. Get all our days. Such a great view. The sky is pretty too. Well, I suppose I will have to wrap it up here because I am very hungry. It's getting kind of late, so. 
hopefully you guys enjoy it. I know Poe stopped by. I don't know if he's still here, but thank you for coming by. I really appreciate it. And hopefully all, anyone else who ends up watching this on YouTube later, you enjoy it too. So with that, I will see you guys all next time. This is a testament to my connection I don't know what I'll do next, but it's it very much my might be now. some more weathering waves. Weathering we'll see. But until then, bye bye.